external pack for our GoPro on our helmet. Hey there, it's Mike from the Beaten Trail. We are gonna put this little video together for you so you can see a good way to get full power all day on your GoPro, a helmet mounted GoPro. We typically are in a side-by-side, -side, so we're tethered to our power. But here on an ATV, we definitely need something a little different. So stay tuned and watch, and I hope this helps. So first off, big thanks to Slaw Dog Shenanigans. He saw me replacing my batteries in my GoPro 9 and said there's an easier way. So these are the parts that we're going to use for this. We'll put these up at the end as well as in the description. First off, you want a helmet strap GoPro front mount for your camera. And this is about $12 doesn't cost that much. Uh, again, we're going to put the links up for all these. We use a foot or a foot and a half long cable just to run up in the helmet behind the foam and it attaches to a portable charger in the back. Now you can use any one of your choice. I chose this one because it looked durable. You have to get a door for your GoPro just to let the cable come out. Some moldable glue. I know some people will decide that they want to use velcro but i don't find that to be as sturdy this glue opens up in different packs and it's air activated so once you start molding it you have about an hour to work with it we just chose black because it matches our helmet and everything you can get it in different colors we'll put a link up for this and you just want to be able to have this pack on the back based on the size i didn't want to really cover up too much of uh, any other kind of regulatory information on my helmet we just molded it so you can use gloves when you're using this it's not really toxic but once it gets under your fingernails and hardens it's going to be a little bit of a pain to clean so you can do it either way we just use some wipes at the end see i'm checking my fingernails but once you get that all molded in the back you can then have glue just around the edges and it keeps water from getting in there in the uh, between the pack and the helmet Anywhere you can keep moisture away is a good thing. So as you can see, you can just mold this with your fingers. You do have some time before it actually gets hardened, and you'll need 48 hours for it to fully cure. I was able to use one pack of 10 to get that all in there. It uh, held on pretty well. Now you tuck that wire up underneath, and you make sure that if you do have a dual port connector, you can get a dummy plug to put in there so you don't have an open port on USB. And you can see I just have a dummy transceiver that I just stuck in there that I had left over. But you can put anything in there. You can also go ahead and put a USB-C or whatever else to cover it. A piece of tape shouldn't be really that bad that you use each time. And again, I had to use some wipes to get that stuff out of my fingernails nothing like black stuff underneath your fingernails it is relatively inexpensive and it worked really well and then you just have to clean up the helmet sometimes you have a little bit of grease make sure you're not touching any of the clear plastics when you're handling this glue just in case and you can test it obviously as you put it on there and it works pretty well it It has provided us with all day power and you can still go ahead and tether in and plug in while you're riding. So you can charge while you're filming as well. So again, the parts list, just the cable, the mount, the ported door, battery pack. It comes together pretty easily. We appreciate you watching. This is just a quick help for somebody who is switching over to ATV riding and you're not tethered to your side-by-sides. Enjoy it. We appreciate Slaw Dog again for helping us out in the suggestion, and we hope to see you out there on the trail. Thanks.